what is up guys? I'm here today with a live reaction to that time I got reincarnated as a slime Episode 20, yo, big 20 I don't know why, but I love the number 20 Actually, I think I do know why My birthday is on the 20th, you know what I mean? So, I definitely love the number 20 Yeah, let's jump right into this though, guys Man, you know, is it me? I think I mentioned this last episode Was Calibrids? Is that how you pronounce it? Calibrids? I don't remember. Was he too easy? I think that like, I felt like they should have did a little bit more with that arc. And I feel like I'm not the only one talking about this. Because one of my friends said that they rushed it. I don't know if they rushed it because I don't read the manga or the light novel. But I felt like it was a bit rushed. Because it's just like, we see Kairi Brits, like two episodes. It was literally two episodes, I think. Two or three episodes, that arc. And it's finished. You know what I mean? I wish they could have did more. And you know what? Episode 20. Yo, we're about to finish this season. Oh, wow, I just realized. I think it's like, wait, three or four more episodes for this season to end, right? Please don't take slime away from me. <laughs> hey, bit, please come back with season two, yo. Honestly, the only thing I could think of why they would rush the Cuddy Brits arc is they're trying to get something else, like another arc like started or so like they can end it off in a cliffhanger way to you know get a second season going to have like a start for the second season you know what i mean but i feel like if they stretched out the cuddy brits arc and went into depth with it and whatnot no actually no i was gonna say if they stretched it out but then again it would have just ended off with milliam defeating cuddy brits you know what i mean and i don't think they could have stretched it off that long what are we doing oh we're cooking those sharks Ooh, we're always eating good here. We can use it as armor. Look at that. Now we even have resources that we can use. Yo, that looks... I, I need breakfast, man. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry, guys. Oh, gummy do! <laughs> Were they doing the... What? The salt meme? I love how Geld and Gabiru can, you know, just talk to each other. You know what I mean? I love this. I love everyone being together. Look at Rimuru with the ladies. <laughs> Look at those like Rimuru, um, like, like the slime rubber ducky kind of things, I think. <laughs> I noticed them like a couple episodes back, but they're so adorable, yo. That's true that why did you become a demon lord? <laughs> That's true. Like a lot of people look at it like that. Look at Rimuru just shaking, like covering her body for. Aww. <laughs> Respect. Wait. Oh. Isn't she like the strongest or something like that? I think you guys told me like she was the strongest or she's up there. Don't let them trick you. <laughs> they don't trick you. 
Milium's gonna get tricked, yo. She's- Bro, I love how everyone's just like, don't let them trick you. We know how you are. Don't let them trick you. Look at that, the Milium, um, not Milium, the Rimuru Fountain. Look at that. New motive. She did, I remember she had kids or something. Aren't those kids in the ending? Those are the same kids in the ending tune. It wasn't. We gotta handle that. We have to do something about that. So are we going there now? Yeah. And heck, even coming. Oh, <gasps> he's just leaving though. Yeah, they should be fine, but. You should take someone with you. Yeah, we have to live up to our word. That's very true. Yeah, you guys have been working. Yo, I feel like what's gonna something get, bad's gonna happen though. Let's think about it. Everyone's strong, but Rimuru is like that figure. You know what I mean? That he can really save them. <laughs> I hope we don't come back and like the village is destroyed or anything. Like the kingdom is destroyed. Two years though? What the heck? That's time? This place looks nice, yo. Look at it. That place looks gorgeous. Yo. That's true. So what do you do like when you're just chilling in the shadow? Like do you just sleep or I don't know. <laughs> Watch Netflix? <laughs> Could you imagine? They don't care that Rimuru has a mask? I'm surprised they don't care. You know, honestly, I really wanted to see a different kingdom because we did see, you know, Dwargon and whatnot.
Yeah, this place looks nice. This doesn't even look like, um, this looks like modern civilization buildings and whatnot. Is it just me? Like some of these buildings? Wait, don't tell me. Yep, a sliding door. Are you kidding me? A sliding door? That's very modern. Elevators and all of that. Secretaries. Is that a slime? Yuki. I don't know why he reacted like that. Was it because of Rimuru's mask? Or he, because that's Shizu's mask. Yeah, Shizu's mask. Watch. Oh. Cause look, the, this looks so bad cause he has Shizu's mask and he looks like Shizu. And he said, I, monsters I eat. Isn't it like a Dragon Quest line or something like that? Look at us talking. <laughs> Look at them talking manga and anime. For his reactions, yo. Look at that. I feel like that's the, probably the only thing that sucks, like you left the world that you're born in, that you live, you know what I mean? And you're somewhere else, you know what I mean? All the things you know is not here. What? You can do that? That's crazy. No. <laughs> That's cool. So he can make his own mangas and stuff. Look at that. He has all the volumes. Is there a way to go back home? 
There's no way, because he probably would have went home. Yeah, he. there's no way. See what he's saying. There definitely has to be like a reference in those mangas. I haven't seen anything yet though. Wait, so you're just a teacher now? What about, you know, the kingdom and all of that? Look at that at 15. She's no joke. I love when they do this, like, because this is something that was brought in the beginning. And that makes them, like, slaves kind of thing, like... Yeah, as weapons. And they can't break their bind or anything. That's what happened to Shizu. Look at that. Wow. Five years.
If we can find a way to stop them. If we can find like a way to stop them from destructing, I think that's like a new motive added here for us. These kids are no joke. Kenchun. Why do you guys want to hurt me? <laughs> are cute yo he looks he does not look 11 he looks a little bit older than 11 like 14 maybe Venadora wait no that's wait a minute you know what I just when he said Chloe, Verudora respond. All right, I think Chloe might be connected with something like getting Verudora out or something like that. I just want to say that, or either one of those kids, because he did mention all the kids' names and then Verudora, you know, reacted or something. Now, what I want to say about this episode, this episode's really good because it set motive, right? Because you see, the whole time, I mean, we had motive. I feel like the whole thing is right. When we first met Shizu, it was like, all right, so we're just a slime building a kingdom. What now? And then when Shizu dying, it was like, all right, well, she's dying and she leaves her regrets for us. You know what I mean? Like all the things she regretted, Leon, the demon lord and all of that. And now we're going to avenge her and, you know, fix all the things she's been wrong. That added motive. Now, within all that motive that was added, we started fighting the orc lord, Karibrids, you know, demon lords, building the civilization and all of that. And it just went to a point like, all right, so how are we going to handle this situation? Where is the next lead into, you know, basically fixing Shizu's regrets and you know doing what Rimuru set out to do to begin with for Shizu and this episode is what brings that on seeing the dream where Rimuru sees you know Shizu like talking about the kids and he goes to the kingdom and this is like the kids Shizu was teaching and all of that it adds motive and what was also added here is the fact that you know the kids they don't have long to live since they're summoned you know like and any summon under the age of 10 usually doesn't have like that much time they have like five years so it really set another goal the fact that Rimuru now has to be able to try to maybe find a way to keep these you know summons these kids alive you know longer than five years and you know you know teach them about life and all of that and make them strong make them able to defend themselves and all of that and like i said chloe i don't know because when he said chloe's name verudora reacted or maybe it has nothing to do with the kids and just that verudora is ready to come out i don't know or something like that or verudora managed to you know break the you know the what he was in or one of these kids are connected like i said maybe they can break the cages in or they can you know let verudora out that's their ability because these kids do have abilities and whatnot Yo, I really enjoyed this episode because you see, the thing is, you just have Rimuru going to this, you know, foreign kingdom, like he knows nothing about it, and he meets Yuki, and they're just talking about manga and anime shows at their time, and you know, like, you really look at it with a different point of view, you feel bad, kind of, because it's like, you look at Yuki, and Yuki and Rimuru, they, I mean, Rimuru doesn't really care too much that he's not in the other world, but like, the others, like, they've had so much, you know what I mean? And now they, it's gone. Now they're in this world, you know what I mean? They've left so much behind family, shows they loved, all of this. And I always feel like, when I see, like, isekai anime and manga, I think to myself, I'm like, you know, don't these people ever feel, like, sadness for leaving their world? Because, like, it usually it goes to a point where they're like, oh, I don't care, I left, goodbye. And I'm like, don't you care about your mom, your dad? Because I feel like if I was ever transported to a different world, I would be scared. I would be scared, you know what I mean? I wouldn't be able to go out for months or anything like that. Like, I wouldn't know how to, like, maintain. I would feel like I'm, you know, like, you would feel like, like, everything is gone. And, you know, I feel like there needs to be a series sometime in the future 
that dwells into that aspect of an Isekai series where a main character gets, you know, transported. Maybe there is already an anime or manga like this transported to a different world and it's like they're scared. And, you know, of course, with this, it comes development, them gaining, you know, courage to be able to, you know, maintain in the world and live in this world. But because fear is a big thing, like you just got transported somewhere and you're not scared at all, you have no concern, you're just happy, you know what I mean? I always thought that was a bit off, but then again, you know, I, but you know, we still enjoy it, of course. And I love how Yuki connected, like, you know, how, you know, our world has myths, like ogres, demons, and all of that, vampires, and all of that. He connected that to there is a way out, because basically, what he was trying to say is, from what I got, is that these ogres, these monsters that come into our world that become myths, they manage to go out there and that's how these myths are started. So yes, there is a way for us to go back to the, you know, real world and whatnot. And you know, the thing with Rimuru, Rimuru wasn't a summon, so I guess Rimuru has more life expectancy than those kids, right? And plus he's a slime as well at that. I don't think slimes age, but then again, I don't know. I don't mind, you know, I'm not a, like, pro on slime knowledge or anything like that. But yeah, really enjoyable episode, honestly. Really, really great episode. Just, you know, setting up the next motive, the next waypoint. And really just, like, you know, setting up the arc. I can't wait to see how this, you know season ends and how it will keep us you know still thriving for more but yeah thank you so much for watching guys if you made it and you're amazing yo peace out